Weather Authority Local Forecast. Good morning and welcome back to Sunrise. Happy Wednesday. We're finally at the middle point of our week and let's go ahead and just take a look outside to see what's in store for us this morning. So we are seeing some clear skies, plenty of sunshine overall this morning. Still feeling a little bit of that humidity and also those warm temperatures. So let's go ahead and take a look at our current temperatures as of right now because I'm tracking our temperatures to rise again for this afternoon. So here's a look at what we're at right now. So we're in those low and upper 80s. So 80 87 in Yuma, 91 already up in Blythe, and 87 in El Centro. So pretty toasty start to our morning, and that's only going to continue as we go into our afternoon hours. So it's going to be a little bit hotter than what we felt yesterday. So looking at our forecast for today, we'll see plenty of sunshine and slowly heating or quickly heating up. So we'll see at 9 a.m. We'll, or at 8 a.m. we'll be at those at low 90s, and then by lunchtime hour we'll be in those double those triple digits, and then by 2 p.m. slightly just a little bit above normal and it's only going to continue to get warmer as the day goes on. So tracking those highs to be around 110 for today. And as far as our future forecast goes, still tracking that monsoonal moisture just in our area. So still tracking for us to see some isolated and scattered showers. So keeping a close eye on that, but we do have that monsoonal moisture in our area. So we do have that potential for some storms to develop and we'll see some lingering clouds throughout the day, but still staying mostly clear. And then even come tomorrow, we'll still see some clouds in that moisture before we start to dry out for our weekend. So tracking much drier conditions for our upcoming weekend and it'll be our holiday weekend. And then also looking at our future winds while well, it's going to stay pretty light out there. So our winds will be around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but they will start to strengthen as the evening goes on, especially in the Imperial Valley. So we'll see those winds peak around 30 miles per hour, and we could even see them just a little bit stronger as well. So breezy condition is definitely going to be in our forecast for later on tonight. So blowing dust and sand is possible. So just make sure you're being aware of that if you have any late eight, uh, late outdoor plans for tonight. And as far as our air quality index goes on our air, on our air quality presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, still looking pretty good out there. So we have moderate conditions for our Nyland, but everywhere else looking pretty good. So overall, no concerns there, but with those breezy conditions later on, could see a little bit of changes. However, when it comes to the sun going down for tonight, well, it'll dip down in those double digits with our temperatures, but still being unseasonably warm. So we are going to be still warmer than usual and we'll be in those low and upper 70s or we're going to be in those low 80s and upper 70s. Excuse me. But as we go into the next few days, we are still going to be slightly just a little bit above normal, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. And thankfully, we are finally going to start to dry out. So again, much, much drier conditions is expected for our holiday weekend. So here's a look on our eight day forecast sponsored by Krause Flat Top Grill. So our temperatures are going to be pretty hot over the next few days before we see those temperatures cool down just a little bit. And we are expected to see some below normal temperatures as we go into our holiday weekend. And would you look at that for the 4th of July? Well, our temperatures are going to look pretty great as we'll be below normal and great sky conditions. So perfect for the holiday. And then Imperial Valley will have toasty temperatures for the afternoon before we see those cooler temperatures by our weekend and going into next week. So that does it for your eight day forecast. Let's go ahead and take